Actually, <clears throat> I love being your dad. I think that it's the greatest thing in the world. Well, unfortunately, my kids aren't here right now. They're at school. So, or else I'd show them off to you. We like to do nothing a lot. We can sit around and play video games. We go to the skate park every once in a while, take them to the aquarium. I don't really have a nine to five job, so now I'm not touring. So it's basically, I just get to run, sit around and do nothing all day with my kids. Got one on the way in March, another boy. It's three boys for me. I really am looking forward to the, the baby baby. You know, the infant that can't do anything is totally help, helpless and everything they do is cute. You know, it's like they vomit and you're like, oh man, that's the cutest thing in the world. My oldest is like pretty into the fact that I'm kind of in this, you know, really big band and whatever, but at the same time, it, it annoys him. Because when we go out someplace together, like, you know, wherever it is, you know, out to eat or to the mall or just at the park or whatever, people come up and talk to me and they want pictures or whatever, and he gets really annoyed by it pretty quick. It's like, leave us alone. Kids just really kind of have a way of making you understand what's a lot more important in the world than basically everything else are the most important thing. Tonight is going to be rocking. We're doing a big fashion show across the street with a gallery. Our theme of our collection is cowboy punk meets English country gentleman rock star, and this is going to be like a rock opera tonight, so it's going to be unbelievable. This is my daughter Darby. She uh, is headed over to Grand Central Art Station to be one of the dressers in our fashion show tonight, so. What's up, my brother? My daughter Darby uh, has talked to me often about becoming an attorney. Let's see, first of all, it started off as a taxi cab driver. Then she worked her way up to waitress, and then, of course, the natural progression from there was actress. You just love me. Why not come into the fashion business? You know, why not come and take over the empire that I'm building for you? And she's like, no, Dad, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Well, last night, she, she broke the news to me that she thought she might want to become a designer. So we'll see how that goes. You know how 13-year-old girls are. They often change their mind. Well, I've been teaching her to surf since she was about uh, 10 months old. So that's something that we've always had in common. That's a, I have a great love affair for the ocean. I think it's time to go for a surf. What do you think? Clear the head? Clear the head. Take care of the soul? Take care of the soul. Right on. <laughs> Surfing is like the lifestyle that I've wrapped my entire life around. And to be able to give it away to my daughter is just amazing. because you got a good taste, but I'd like to shave about 30, 30 seconds off the show. Showtime, baby. The fashion business is, is fun and exciting at times. It's definitely a lot of work. It's very rewarding and very much the rock and roll lifestyle. Next time I want to be the one on the stage. <laughs> He's great. He rocks. That's a wrap, baby. How much do Ooh. So much. <laughs> Unbelievable. Jake came around at a, at a time when um, things were pretty crazy and chaotic in my life and I was on the road a lot and I was kind of um, a lot of big life-changing things were happening and then he came along and um, sort of balanced everything out and in a way probably saved my life just because I was starting to get a, you know pretty nuts feeling sort of invincible and, and, and really tearing it up and living it up and and when he came it kind of really humbled me and made me realize that now you know, it wasn't just 
me against the world anymore. It was kind of like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make sure that he's cool. And yeah, in a lot of ways, he, he came at the perfect time. He's a constant source of entertainment and love and frustration. If you want to have dessert, you need to eat more vegetables, please. Why? Because I need dessert right now. He's the only person, it's a great thing about your own kid, is they're the, they could, nobody makes you matter and happier, and they can do it all within the same, like, 10-second span. All right. Woo! Yeah, it could go into cornucopia, huh? I suppose it could. Jake's birthday, we're gonna have, um, don't worry, we got, we got R2D2 making a special appearance. Jake's obsessed with Star Wars, so he'll be stoked on that. And we got a big jumper that we got last year, and it's got a, a huge slide on it, the kids get, they get aggro off of that, so we'll have that going. Funny transition, this party five years ago would have been, you know, poker games outside and and drinking games and whatever, and now uh, everyone has kids, it's crazy. Time to go pick up Jake from school. Let's go. Watch, we'll ask him when we get him, what'd you do in school today? He'll say, I took a nap, I ate lunch, played on the playground, and then you came. Um, I ate snack and I took a nap and I played outside, <laughs> went potty, and then I came back and then played, and then my dad picked me up. There was a couple extra things I forgot about going potty. <laughs> He's sort of my proof that he's being raised right, you know. People can think whatever they want to think, but the proof's in the pudding. Now is there ever enough puppies to go over to the fence? Again. Again. Never again. Never again. The end. The end. Do this. I love you. I love you. Mm. It's good, okay? Okay, Dad. <laughs>